Oh Malani, how I love thee. I have so much great stuff to show you guys. I'm going to get right into it. I noticed at that new Walgreens stand that there were these Milani Tantastic Face and Body Bronzers. And I'll actually open it up for you so that you can um, see. But I did want to kind of show you that they actually twist open. And then you get like these um, Milani brushes. They look like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. So I guess you can use that. I, I probably will not use that for my bronzer, but I did kind of think that that was kind of cool. The only thing kind of lame about it is like this is a really thick container as far as like throwing it like in your traveling cosmetics bag. So that I think there is a way that you can like disconnect this. But there is a mirror at the bottom if you just remove this sticker label. And then the actual product itself is on the top and then you just slide open and then that's how you can access the actual powder this one is in 01 fantastic in gold I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you so that's what it looks like um, on my hand on the back of my hand it's really pretty I mean you can see that was one swipe just how concentrated that was I um. I am thinking that this will be good for me, like for a highlighter. I'm even going to use this as an eye color. As you guys know, I've been totally in a season of my makeup life experiences of putting cheek things uh, as my eye looks and whatnot. You guys know with my Bobbi Brown um, palette, I've been doing that like nonstop. This one is uh, number two, Fantastic in Bronze. And it just looks like that. I would like to note that these kind of remind me of like MAC mineralized um, powder. So it's this one right here. Really liking the texture of these. Very creamy. As I mentioned, very pigmented. Here's one swipe. And as you can see, lots of color payoff. And I think that that number two one will be better as a typical bronzer. Now getting into, um, you know, they had a bunch of like baked blushes and... If you are just one of those people that was so blessed to own Stereo Rose, then um, thank goodness you got that because I don't own Stereo Rose and I was so sad after I seen like everybody wearing Stereo Rose and all the swatches of Stereo Rose. It was something that I think I really would have loved. But I picked up a bunch of these um, Milani baked blushes and they're very mineralized um, baked looking products and I think that maybe out of these four, one, two, five that I got, maybe there's something that's kind of close to Stereo Rose. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to go on to like those um, swatch blogs that I like to follow like Temptalia, Carla Sugar and look up Stereo Rose and see if I can get anywhere near it. Anyway, let me see if there is some sort of order to the madness as far as the numbering goes. Yes, there is. So I'll start with number one. And the packaging, let me show you, looks like this. It's very posh looking. And you know what I noticed? I never thought to look on the back of any of my Milani products. But I just thought like, oh, Milani, that's just their name. But no, these are like really kind of high-end products. Like um, on the back of it, it says that these products are made in Italy, which I think is kind of cool. Um... So anyway, if you open these, there is a little flap down there that gives you one of those little brushes and there's a mirror, just in case you were wondering. And then this is Dolce Pink, D-O-L-C-E Pink in 01. Look how pretty that is. Let's go ahead and swatch it as well. So that's it on my finger. Oh, it's it's very shimmery. If you're not um, one that likes like shimmer, then this is probably not going to be a blush that you would enjoy. Um, very light, almost like porcelain pink. Um, if you are able to swatch it and look at it up close, there is a ton, a ton of shimmer. I am one that does not stray away from shimmer, so it doesn't quite bother me. But if you don't like it, then these are definitely not matte. Um, they're very pigmented, but high shimmer power. This is a number two rose Dioro. And on my finger, it looks like that. Now that, I don't know if you have Stereo Rose, but that kind of reminds me of Stereo Rose right there. So I'm really excited to go check out a, a blog that has swatches. 
and that's what it looks like on my hand the color does need to be blended a little bit they didn't go on as like cohesive as um, the Tantastics these were much more creamy in texture but the colors are very pretty this one has a lot of like peach undertones in it which I really like especially since summer will be coming up this is in number three Berry Armour and if I can get into it I would be able to swatch it for you but I'm having difficulties there we go so in the pan it looks like that and on my finger definitely a little bit more mauve and I'll swatch it here so yes, it is definitely a little bit more berry toned. Um, and then I just realized that I bought two of the same color. And unfortunately, I opened the packaging on both of these because I wanted to swatch it for you guys. So you know what? This was totally not planned, but this number 06 in Bellissimo Bronze, I'm going to do a giveaway because I didn't realize that I bought two of the same color. And it's opened. I can't return it. So uh, why don't you guys go ahead and post a comment below. Share with me what is your favorite blush or bronzer. And you'll automatically be entered. And I'll um, definitely post in the down bar below all of like the giveaway data. All the giveaway data. So this is Bellissimo Bronze right here on this finger. It is very beautiful. I think somebody would be very happy to win that in a giveaway and I'll swatch it right there. Nice pigmentation up close. It is shimmery as expected since all the rest of them were. Getting into the lip products that I bought, I was very, very excited because I heard from Gina Bina Wina that she was really enjoying the Milani like lip flash products. They look like this. And I um, wanted to try them, went to the CVS where I usually buy my Milani things and I've never found them there. And this brand new Walgreens display had lip flash pencils. So basically these are full coverage shimmer gloss pencils. I have on this one in 08 Star Flash right now and it's the light pink one. So um, it's not really, uh, I don't know, it's not like a lipstick. Although it's opaque, it just, I don't know, it feels almost like a gloss. It's like a happy medium. I don't even know. You have to try these out for yourself. So far, I do like it. Um, this color is very pale. It's like a very pale porcelain pink, but I'm just at home, and I did not feel like walking around with stark red lips and teal feather earrings, so I just slapped this one on to kind of like give you an idea of what the texture is like, and I do like it so far. The co other colors that I got, in fact, let me swatch um, Star Flash for you. So, as you can see, it's not going to show up too much, but it's a very, like, icy porcelain pink. But, I mean, as you could see, that's really pigmented, considering, and it does go on very smooth, very glossy. This is 07 in a flash. Oh, that's really pretty. It's kind of like a fuchsia purple, but like very glossy. It's it, Can you see how it's kind of wet? I like that a lot. And then I got these two reddish colors, and I'm not the type of girl that can really rock red, but a lot of um, beauties that I'm subscribed to, these different, you know, gurus, like Love Peace, Lip Gloss, you, your lips are phenomenal. I don't know if like that creeps you out, but like when you talk, sometimes I'm just like mad staring at your lips. Your lips are phenomenal, and sometimes I've seen you in like the darker colors, and it's just so pretty. And so I kind of like feel inspired to maybe try doing a little bit darker colors on the lips, and I'll just do maybe like winged eyeliner. Anyhow, I'm rambling, but this is in 03 Flashlight. Now that is a really like almost orangey red, as you can tell from the swatch there and so maybe that will be like a baby step for me to get towards doing like a reddish tone lip this one is a little more truer red and it is in 05 hot flash and why don't I switch it on this side oh my whoa that was like redonkulous in the words of Candy Johnson that is so pigmented 
I did, wasn't expecting that. Let me just do one. That is one swipe. Wow. And it is so pretty. It is like this beautiful ruby red, like sparkly. There's just, oh, and see how it goes on wet? Those are cool. Gina, you know your stuff, girl. Every time you like say you love something, I swear, I bought them and I love them. Like, so good. So I'm loving these lip flashes. Really excited. So you may see a red lip on me pretty soon here. I also got these. Um, they're the Milani Glitzy Glamour Glasses. I got number 10 in Glow Girl. Really pretty packaging. Just looks like that. And if my hand is dry enough, swatch it for you there. So it's kind of a sheer wash of pink. Um, it's not as opaque as some of the other things, but I'm just going to use it as a gloss to kind of go over, um, lipstick. This one is in 07 Putting on the Glitz, and I really like this one when I swatch it at the store. It's kind of like a nude. So, um, if you're into nudes with, like, some kind of peachy shimmer in it, then Put on the Glitz would maybe be a Milani product that you would enjoy. I picked up these. They are the HD Advanced Lip Colors by Milani, and I don't know if this is new to their line, but the packaging is really pretty. It's kind of like, has this like, I don't know, pattern, 3D kind of textured thing, and it says Milani in gold. I just thought it was just so beautiful um, how they packaged it. It looks like this if you open it up and you just twist, and the color that um, this is is 112 Vivacious Fuchsia. And I'll swatch it for you here. Why don't we do it right there? Really pretty. It goes on very glossy, kind of similar in texture to those lip flashes. I feel like I do have other lipstick colors, though, that are in that genre. This one is in number 111, Cotton Candy. It's a little bit more of a pink versus a fuchsia. And I'll swatch it right next to it. Went on pretty sheer, to tell you the truth. I know these were substantially more expensive than the lip flashes were. In fact, if I can find it on the receipt, the... Okay, yeah, I have no idea. Everything says Milani, Milani, Milani. So, I don't know, but from what I remember, the HD ones were more expensive than the lip flashes. And first impressions, I kind of think I like the lip flashes better. So that's pretty much everything I got as far as being able to swatch. I did also pick up this Milani Power Lash, and it is a mascara that claims to thicken, volumize your lashes. High drama, clump free, smudge free, the typical lowdown. I got it in black. Um, I'm not able to swatch this for you because that'd be kind of pointless. It's just black mascara, but I do want to just, I guess, get into it live here on my channel. And show you that this is a really big, huge mascara. Let's see what the wand looks like. Whoa! Kind of similar to that Revlon Grow, um, what is it? Grow Luscious or something, the green one. It's like a really big wand. So we'll see how this works out. I will definitely answer any of your comments below. If there's questions, maybe it might work for this video for you to um, message me instead. And I hope that you enter in that spur of the moment giveaway where I'll be doing a Bellissimo bronze giveaway from Milani. Just such gorgeous, high quality things that you can find at your local Walgreens. So take care, guys, and let me know how you're all doing. I hope you're having an awesome week. Bye.